Okay, y'all, what is good, everyone? It is your boy, JJ, that dude, and I am back on another type of video, which is the five best games I've played and the five worst games I've played. And, of course, some of y'all will know which ones I'll pick out of these, and these are the ones that just came on the top of my head that I remembered as greatly and stuff. And keep this in mind, there, is, there are going to be some honorable mentions along with it. So, there might be honorable mentions. Where I go in for it. So technically it's six best games and six worst games. So there's honorable mention, there's honorable mention, and then there's a honorable mention for the worst games out there. So let's get this out the way and let this be known as well. Now hey y'all. If y'all like some interesting content like this or some other content like Blaze Blue or anything of that nature, you know, any kind of videos that are like varieties and stuff, let me know in the comments. Now of course I can't do reactions to videos just yet. Because I really don't have a computer, I don't have that much to click with. That's just me. Hopefully y'all understand this. Now anyway, continuing on with the video, let us go right into the first one. Which the first one, which is Persona 5 Royal as one of the best games I've played. This is one of the best games I've played, honestly. I mean, let's get it, let's get it out of the way. I mean, I think it's the one of the best RPG games I've played in a while. I mean, also has a great dating system, comedy system, you know what I'm saying? It has a great story. With a catchy, you know, Ryuji and all of them, you know, the whole gang. And it's all amazing and it's great. Any Persona game in particular is great in my opinion. And all that stuff. And it's very great, though. And, you know, it's here and there that's good and all that stuff. But I'll also say this, though, that, you know, the fourth game I mentioned might be an old game. Just letting y'all know this ahead of time, though. But... Anyway, keeping it going, keeping it moving. I won't say nothing about the Dev Arcana or the Tower Arcana because, of course, they kind of suck. But they do have decent great bosses, especially when they have a one great villain. Or if you really call them a villain, which is, you know, Arky, which, like I said, like I said, it's the best video game. Best, not very best video game. But I guess best games, best worst game. So, you know, it makes sense that I'm going after each and every one of them slowly. But I'm not going off all crazy like that except for one game in particular, which y'all will know when I mention it. But yeah, let's keep it going though. Next one, which is the next second second best one that I've played is Yakuza 0. Yakuza 0 is one of the games that are, the gameplays are great. The fighting is great. It's amazing. The great, well, great bosses, even though the only thing I really didn't like in them is mainly the gun missions. Anything when a person has a gun and they shoot you, that thing is mad annoying, bro. Because then you have to try and dodge it the best way you can and hope for the best. And sometimes it still sucks, you might get cooked by it. Which, low-key, it suck. Hated them things. Hanging them things. But they had good side quests. Good mini-games as well, along with other things. Which is very amazing, very great. And I really liked it so much. Because, like, I watched Berlizzi play it. Or Berlin, whatever you want to call them. Play it, and it was really fun, in my opinion, though. But yeah, that's the best I can say about it. The next one, which is Danganronpa 3. I mean, Danganronpa in general. But I like Danganronpa 3 the best. But then Dagoropa 2 was pretty good, and then Dagoropa was, you know, next and all that stuff. Let's do this. Just letting y'all know ahead of time so y'all understand, though. So just keep that in mind. That was pretty good with that and stuff. But anyway, keeping it going, though. I like the third game the most, though, because I think their trials was pretty good and had good twists. Especially in the very beginning, if you play Dagoropa 3, in the very beginning, you'll see a lot of big twists. I won't spoil that too much. I think it's fair. I just don't do that. Because, I mean, it's... Spoiling, I don't want to spoil too, too much, but honestly, it's a best game's worst game, so I'm not going to try and spoil it that much. Except for the one other one that's in the worst game moments, which, that one, I'm going to have a lot of things to talk about. All right. I'm going to keep that a bug. I'm going to keep that a bug. Anyway, keeping it going and all that stuff, I do want to say that the Kaido and Kaede moment was crazy, especially with, you know, checking the second game, which is kind of crazy, but... Yeah, V3, though, in my opinion, had the best music, though. Executions were great. The story was on point. It kind of felt kind of cool, though, to work with, though. Not gonna lie. And Ultra Despair Girls is just terrible. But, I mean, it's not on the worst tier, though. But, hey, just keep that in mind, though. The next best one I've played is actually the old school game I was talking about, which I think I've mentioned it on stream. But it's Madagascar Escape to Africa. This game, in my opinion, was amazing. The reason why it was amazing is because not only did it have good mini games, the story was okay-ish, you know, it was pretty good, especially my old times. And there was many mini games that I liked that I could play, and I was like, yeah, this mini game is amazing. This mini game is great. 
where I could go up there, look at the minigame, and I was like, yeah, this is fire. And I was happy seeing that. That the game was so great, so amazing. Like, I'll show you the mini games. I mean, we have obviously a lot of them. I mean, we have like Volcano Rave, we have Jungle Chess, we have Mini Golf, we have Musical Chairs, we got Hot Dorian, we have Saga. There's amazing stuff in there, which hopefully, like, in the you know, console like PlayStation 5 and stuff, maybe I can, um, you know, um, Mentioned that, you know, what, am I, what I want to say, um, probably go out there and be like, I don't know how to explain it, but maybe people like it, enjoy it, because it's very amazing. And hopefully it'll be a thing that we can play in PlayStation 4 and stuff, which actually would make me feel a little bit more happy about the game, because honestly, you know, it was pretty good though, I'm not going to lie, it was pretty good playing it. But yeah, either way, I mean, the game was pretty great. I, that's all I have to say about that. Now, the next one, which is Mass Effect Trilogy, which is the fifth one. Now, I know some of y'all are going to be like, man, Mass Effect 3 was terrible, man. They didn't let me do a lot of stuff that I wanted, like Mass Effect 1 and 2 to do. They didn't do this. They didn't do that. The ending sucks. And yes, I understand, I understand how your point is. The plot-driven game is supposed to serve its purpose. And it was very disappointing compared to the other games. I, I 100% agree with that. But I, I do, I'm worried about the main good things about it. Because I played it and I liked it a lot. Now, now if y'all want me to play it on like YouTube and just see how it goes and y'all see what I play or what I play, that's perfectly fine. I will probably do that. You know what I'm saying? But we could try and do that, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We could try and do that. That's just me. Now, um... Let's keep it going though with it though. But I like to play the Renegade, and there's times I was a hero, and it kind of you had to pick, you kind of had to multitask. You couldn't just play only, you know, do just one of them. You had to do multiple things, honestly, which was very interesting to see. Which kind of sucked, but I mean, honestly, I kind of understood why it was kind of like that. But I mean, I, I liked it. I mean, I liked it pretty much. I mean, it, it kind of showed me a little something special though to it. That's just me though. But I mean, like I said, I kind of like everything about it except a few things. So I can't be, I guess I'm not as picky, but I'm only picky when it comes to certain things that are terrible. So I can't complain. So I can't complain or say too much about that. But um, the missions were kind of eh, not gonna lie. Which, let me explain my only main gripe with the game is that if you're first playing this game, it's not the best thing that you want to deal with, honestly. Because the only reason why I say this, y'all, in general, is mainly because, I mean, let's just keep it a buck. I mean, if you don't remember that the missions are going to be a pain in your butt, if you don't do it, you're going to have a rough time dealing with it. Yeah, you're not going to have a fun time. You're not. And it sucks because of that. Because not only... Do you have to deal with, like, just having to try to force your way out there? Because if you don't do the missions, you literally just get done dirty by other characters that might want to kill each other. Like, for example, Talia and this guy right here that I can't really point out. But this guy right here, yeah, they'll start a fight. Oh, you don't do a, you do this type of thing? Yeah, you'll both have a fight regardless. This right here, you'll have a fight here. Oh, even in the first game, even with Rex, you'll still have a fight to do if you do not do these missions right. And if you can't settle it right, you can't do anything. Which sucks, because the game does not mention it to you at all. They just expect you to just, you better do their side quests, otherwise you're just going to mess up. And you better pay attention and do it right. If you do not, say goodbye. That's all I need to say. Keep that in mind. Anyway. The next thing, which is the honorable mention, which is loss, judgment, and judgment itself. Mainly judgment is, okay, let me say it like this. Judgment itself was the better, what's the word I'm looking for? Judgment was the better story game because it had better story than lost judgment. But lost judgment, in my opinion, I like the mini games in Lost Judgment, in my opinion. 
and so on and so forth, though. And, like, the side quests were pretty good, but Lost Judgment still had good story. It had a great story, just not as best, you know, as Judgment. But the only thing I did not like was the robotics one and the bike one. The game was very good nonetheless, though. I'm not going to bore y'all with the long details, because I'm sure you want to hear about the worst games I've played. That's where the video gets out to the long point. Let's go out with the worst games that I've played. The next, the first one, which is Forspoken. Let's let's see, y'all. Let's say if y'all know about this game. I think I, I think a few people mentioned it. Let's see who else. Who's mentioned this? Uh, Penguin Zero, I think, mentioned it, or Moist Critical, whichever one you want to go for. Forspoken. I appreciate sure I heard about this game. The sixty-nine ninety-nine dollar terrible game. That's an action RPG game that is hot trash and hot garbage. Disappointing graphics. The, the, the voice acting is terrible. The, the gameplay sucked. And literally, it tried to be a AAA title of a thing saying, Hey, I'm a AAA game. No, you're not. You're hot trash. And don't get me started on the characters. The characters are hot trash. Literally, even the main character sucks. And that's saying a lot. The main character sucked. And I don't say that for a lot of main characters, that they all just suck, but she sucked! Literally, was a terrible character, the dialogue was just completely crap, it was boring at best, the open world, if you look at that junk, that junk is t just completely just empty to no ends. Like, I mean empty, like it's empty empty, like look at this kind of empty I'm talking about. Empty to the point where I'm like, what the heck are we here for? Because that junk was empty. Keep that in mind. It was empty. And keep that around. That's all I got to say. Because the other game, you're going to know what it is, and I'm going to mention it. But yeah, next one, which is Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Honestly, I don't have to say much about it. But I, I, I guess we could. The storyline is garbage. The game don't even. it's not even free, which it's terrible. The game is terrible. If an angry video game nerd, if, you would, if you're listening to this, I'm sorry that I had to play it just to see how terrible it was. <laughs> but yeah, it's terrible. It's dog water. It's obvious dog water. Let's get that out the way. Like, the story, terrible. Poor acting. The humor sucks as well. It's very difficult. I don't have to, I don't have to do it. You'll see my point if you look at Angry Video Game Nerd's video. He, he could have provided better what the heck is this. But yeah, it, it's terrible. Don't I would recommend do not play in it. The next one, which is Big Rigs, which obviously it's very, it's a very kind of special kind of awful. It's awful. Like, a, it's awful. It feels like someone made it awful on purpose type of awful. That's how it feels. It feels that bad. It just feels that bad. Imagine a game that just feels so bad that people think that you're just trying to make it terrible. That's how bad it is. It's awful like that. But look, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Let me ask everyone a question here. Anyone that has played a racing game or loves a racing game, raise your hands. Whether you're raising it like right now or not raising it, let me if you're the one's raising hands, let me ask you a question. Have you ever had a vehicle that ran fast by going backwards and go fast around like nine thousand miles per hour and go and break the game instantly by doing that? Have y'all ever had that? Y'all never had that? Oh, that's very interesting, because this is the game that does it. Big Rigs Over the Road Racing. Yay. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. We all love that, don't we? But yeah, it was terrible. I don't have to say much about it, but... And oh yeah, another thing is... Oh yeah, have you ever had a rival that just sat there and still did nothing? And just did not want to move? Have we ever had that? Have any of y'all... And I mean, have any of y'all ever had that happen in your entire life has any of y'all had that you look at it and you're like well crap ain't this some crap ain't this interesting you look at it and you just see some crap you see some trash that's all you see trash but hey that's what the game gave us a whole bunch of crap and garbage now the next one which is oh my brother the honorable mention, y'all, which is Lord of the Rings Golem. Do I need to even explain why this is here? That's all I need to say. Do I need to explain it? No, I do not have to explain it. If you have a problem with it, 
Look at Penguin Zero's video about it. If not, more is critical. Look at it. I promise you, you'll get the most easiest, and I mean the most easiest way of why the heck it needs to be there. And I'm pretty sure y'all understand. Look it up. You'll understand how bad it is. The next one is Avatar The Last Airbender Quest for Balance. Let, where do I begin with this one? Because, oh yeah, so I, okay, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was about to say the actual name of the other game, which some of y'all, most of y'all always already know it, but I'm not trying to say it just yet for the people out there that don't know, but yeah, but yeah. Yeah, the Avatar The Last Airbender Quest thing, I ain't gonna lie. The, where do I begin with this? You know, with the combat, do I get with the pointless puzzles and the stupid scenes? That they tried to highlight with the series? Do I go with that? Do I go off of the targeting in the game? Do I go off a of dag on Zuko's boss fight? Do I dag on go off the th fireballs that just go anywhere except you? Do I go off the thing that it costs like about fifty something dollars for this sorry tell excuse of a game? Oh, thank you. Do I hmm do I go off of the puzzles? Or do I even go off the camera angle? Let me know, y'all. What should I go off of in this game? Cause this is some this is a manifest of hot garbage. Where do I go off with this? Because, yeah, there's a lot of things I can go off of. Where do I go off of this? Because, yeah, by all means, we're on the worst case scenario of what the heck is this? That's how I feel. Because, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's hilarious. It's 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 ridiculous. That's all I gotta say is that it's ridiculous. But yeah, it's ridiculous. Don't I don't have to question it. But now here is the final and last game that is the worst out of everything in the world that I've played. If everyone has played Sonic games, yeah, you're gonna figure out what this one is real quick. Sonic 06. And this game, I need to have its own, this game needs its own video. But most likely, what should I say about it though? Because most likely, let's see, most likely, you know, this game is kind of, where do I, where do I begin with Sonic 06? Because this one, I can go everywhere with this. Where do I begin with this dumpster fire? Should I start on the mini glitches it has? Like, okay, let's go off the glitches. Oh, I could go out there and probably mark as many glitches as I want, honestly. Oh, the glitches ain't did the glitches don't think make you don't make this the worst game because of the glitches? Oh, let's let's go off of that. Okay, then let's go off the controls of the game. Of let's say uh let's say I try to skateboard around an area. Oh yeah, um I can't really skateboard that much unless I hit the certain control angle in a certain way for it to make me move. Or let's let's just go off the fact that Sonic's thing can't even register right and they didn't think about fixing that or what about the other thing of oh i don't know maybe that this game just decided that silver's aiming of where you try to shoot your shot at is just hot garbage oh i guess i guess that's not i guess that's terrible i mean i guess no one cares about that honestly not like it mattered but i mean hey something happened i guess i mean more crap happened Maybe the thing game being a rushed game and it did all that stuff. The story itself was hot trash. I mean, the long loading screens, the camera angles. I mean, the fast run missions where the pursuit action ones where you just run out there fast and just hope that you don't glitch out of the air and just start flying over there having a air spasm. Should I go off of, um, let's see, what other thing is there? Hmm. The puzzles, I mean, we can go all day about this. The only thing that the game had that was good was the music, which mainly was his world. That's the best music out there, is his world. That's actually insane. Is that, out of the whole game, his world is one of the best musics in the whole Sonic 06 franchise. That's the only thing that was helping him out, was Sonic 06 of, in this world, that's about it. His world, like literally. And Loki, I've been singing that song too, and I'm like, this is the only reason I play Sidego 6. Because I listen to his this his world. You've got 
And that was cool. It was cool, though. But, huh, let's see. How much should I talk about it? But, oh, yeah, yeah. By the way, if y'all want me to go out there and have a Sonic 06 row session of how bad the game is, we can do that, y'all. I got no problem with doing that. I honestly have no problem with doing that. I have no problem with doing that. But yeah, I usually am just kind of like, what the heck is this? But hey, if y'all want me to do it, let me know in the comments. I actually will do that though, but what other Sonic 06 things should I have up there where I talk about it? Because yeah, Sonic 06, that can't be it sometimes, I promise you. Sometimes it just act like they can't be it. Because yeah, it's 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 a dumpster fire. I promise you, it is. And I feel bad about the game because the game literally could have had been better, you know, and all this stuff. It could have been really better, and it didn't. But yeah, I mean, hopefully the game gets better, you know. But I know they got a mod for it on PC and stuff, and it worked from there, honestly. But other from that, I can't really complain and say as much about that. But I mean. Either way, I do think that the game could have been a little bit better with something else. Honestly, I feel like it could have been better, but hey. Oh, you know, it is what it is, you know. But I must most likely stop it here, though, y'all. But like I said, if y'all want more videos on it, I'll the best believe I'll go up there and I'll actually make a video. I'll make a long video. I'll do that. Because Sonic 06 is the main game I should have been talking about in the first place about the worst game that I've played in a while when it came to Sonic games in general. And I know some of you, and hold up, hold up, actually wait, before I say it, I know some of y'all going to be like, oh, but what about Sonic 3D Blast? Wasn't that terrible? Or, oh, what about Sonic Boom the Lyric? I, first of all, I've never played Lyric, even though I know it's hot trash. Don't get me wrong, I know it's hot trash. I've seen someone play it, but I haven't played it myself, which is the problem, though. And the next thing, which is, oh, Sonic 3D Blast. Even though I have played it, I think Sonic 3D Blast is better. Even though it sucks as a 3D game, in my opinion, I can work with that rather than, at least it didn't have so many glitches to the point that it was looking like this. The controls were a little bit, literally like this the entire time. But, I mean, it was kind of okay, literally bad. But, I mean, it was to the point where I couldn't play the game and have fun. Which was the main issue. Which I know a lot of people don't want to understand that is that Sonic 3D Blast has its own moments. It, it, it be, it, it, it's kind of, it's trying to trash sometimes, but it's not worse than Sonic 06. I promise you, it's not worse than Sonic 06. Cause look, it was born in oh, would you like to know 2006? And bro, it was a platinum hit family thing, and the and the whole thing had a whole bunch of glitches and all that stuff. Who really thinks that that's fun to deal with? Not me. I wouldn't want to deal with that. That whole crap was a bunch of boring. It was boring the entire way through. I'm just keeping. I'm just keeping a buck. I'm just keeping a buck. It was just kind of low key boring. And I hope that no one has you know high experience over this game because this game did not have the best what you call uh fun times to have with it. Because it was not fun. I'm going to keep it above you. It was not fun. It was not fun. And I hope no one thinks that it is fun. Because it's not. And that game was an embarrassment for all Sonic games out there. But yeah, y'all. I'm going to stop it right here because, yes, I, I'm just talking about Sonic 06. And that needs to be its own said video. But yeah, y'all. If y'all would like more of the you know, Sonic 06, you know, a little bit more of me talking about it, maybe. I understand why the game is bad. Let me know in the comments. I will definitely let y'all know about it. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to stop it right here. And I will see y'all later. You know what I'm saying? Peace. And love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yee.
I'm so well, rude. Just as you I thought. Me? I erase quirks. So close. There's an enemy. As far as it stretches. This is what it means to plan accordingly. This could come in handy.